All right, I'm making this video for those of you out there with uh, QuickTime Player. You recently got an update, and now it's not playing. Uh, you go to load it up and run it, and you get an error code 46. Unable to find, unable to load or find ActiveX, and it's not coming up and running. You click it, and you just get that error every time. Uh, easy fix on that. There's a couple files you need to download in order to fix it. Uh, uh, if you've done any searching, you probably found all these on the net. Some people have found them, and they just your sequence of setup has to be just right, or else it doesn't work for you. I'm going to show you how to go through that real quick and easy. And uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into uh, your control panel. You need to go to user accounts, just for Windows Vista. Under user accounts, you want to click on turn user account control on or off make sure that you don't have a checkbox in the UAC turn that off that's that little box that pops up every time you install a piece of software update something anything else are you sure you want to do this it needs to be turned off uh, and that makes your whole Vista act a lot more like the old XP did doesn't ask you a question every time you look at it cross-eyed uh, and then you need to download two files um, one of these files is from Microsoft and one of these files is a third party piece of software that goes in and resets the permissions for your registry key entries in your registry. Uh, you can just type them into your uh, browser and it'll take you to the first one's going to take you over here to Microsoft and you're just going to click download right here at the very front. Download the file, download it to your desktop and then you're going to load this file just type that in your address bar and once it's in your address bar it'll come up with this box right here just click save file again save that to your desktop and I'll show you what's in this file in just a moment so if you're worried about viruses or something being in a third party software uh, you can pause this screen right here get your addresses get those two downloaded and get them in here on your desktop uh, the file that you downloaded here if we go in and edit this all it is is a bunch of uh, registry key entries and it's just going to uh, grant administrative rights back to the person that's logged in on your system right now. So if you're on Windows Vista and you're not logged in as administrator, you'll need to do that first. Once you log in as administrator, you need to go into your user accounts and turn off your UAC. And uh, what this file is going to do is it's going to go back into your registry once you install the other program. This is going to give you access uh, administrator access back to everything that you need okay go ahead and close that then now once you get these two downloaded on your desktop double click your subinacl.msi and install it just follow the prompts and install it once that's installed you want to go to my computer and go to your windows drive now you may have more than one drive you may have multiple drives and if your Windows that you're running here is not on C drive, then don't go to C. Go to D drive, E drive, F drive, whichever drive is running Windows. 90% of the people that's going to be on C. Go ahead and click your C drive and open that up. Go down to uh, Program Files. Open up Program Files. Scroll down and look and you'll see a Windows Resource Kits folder. Now that folder will not exist until you install sub inalc.msi. Once you install that, then this folder will exist. So if you come looking for this first, it ain't going to exist. It's not there. All right, so after you've got the Microsoft version of this part of it, part of it installed, go ahead and go into your resource, <coughs> Windows Resource Kits. Go under Tools. These three files right there will be the only ones in there at that time. And then you just want to drag and drop your reset command in there. Once your reset command's in there, double click your reset command. It'll come up with this. Go ahead and run it. You're going to get a black box and it's going to fly by with a bunch of stuff. All it's doing is resetting your uh, administrative rights back in your uh, registry keys. Alright, close that out. Run your quick time. That's it. You're done.